What's up guys? Today is Friday. Woo! Finally! Friday, because it's Snap on Friday. There is the man himself. Thank God this week is almost over. Let's see what he's got. Come on. and it is full blast right now, ain't it? You got that right. Well, that air feels good in here. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> inside. It's getting hot outside already. I'm Again. proud you got that on. Man, that sun's bright. Trying, walking outside, especially with the white truck or the shop door, the one I'm showing up blind even worse. <laughs> Trying to find the, the door handle to put the key in. I'm like... <laughs> It's just gonna get worse too. That's it too. Huh? Right now we just ain't got sweat rolling down our eyes yet. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Yeah. I think it's 80 out there today though. And it's supposed to be warmer next week too, I think. Suck. That's what somebody was saying yesterday. They said, yeah, it'd be 90, 95 in a month. I said, yep. It's already done got warm. Yep. I done got the leaking this morning in the shop. <laughs> I done had all the fans on there. <laughs> Dehydrate, sweat it all out. Well, I can't believe you still got the box. Now, now this one's gone. Oh, it's gone? Yep. Gotta yeah, put a down payment on it, and I'm gonna drop it off at his house Tuesday. Oh, that's good. Well, he got a nice one. Yeah, he walked up. He, I didn't see him last week or the week before. They've been out of town for something, and he walked on the truck. He's like, How much is it? And I told him, He's like, I got, I take it. I gotta have that one. And Did you tell him that's a famous box? Yeah, I said it's been on YouTube for a long time. <laughs> the funny part is, I just sold him a box not too long ago, put it in the shop. He, I was like, what are you going to do with this one? He said, I'm taking that one home. He said his favorite color is blue, and I ain't never heard him say that before. The box he bought was red. Yeah. Red with the A lot of people like cream. blue. That's yeah. why I don't understand why tool companies don't do more blue, you know. I think Especially you, this color. That royal blue looks mm -hmm. good. You must have got some bargains on some coast lights. There's a bunch of them up here. Got a bunch of coast lights in. Done sold or three of these this morning. Mm -hmm. but ended up writing the price on them so that I ain't got to look them all up every time. <laughs> ordered the package. It was probably six or seven weeks ago when I ordered a big old package. Up. And I still got a bunch of them at the house, too. We didn't put them on here, all on here right now. But I ain't never seen them before. I didn't know they was coming in the... Mm, different. Pretty neat. Which I seen these, but I never ordered none of them. Oh yeah. Well, I just, I, it's gonna be hard getting me to ever go back to a battery power again. How rechargeable is the way to yeah. go? Yeah. I don't yeah. think I'd ever go back to a battery. I when like that old Streamlight that's you know the old school ones that yeah. two double A's. I thought them was the greatest thing on earth. These right here. Yep. <laughs> I thought them was the greatest things on earth, They're and they was lights. in their day, you yeah. know. And then when they figured out how to do rechargeable batteries better, a lot of people they still get hung up on the price for charge. Uh, well, yeah. Here's some right here. It yeah. is like. I can't remember right off hand, 85 See, bucks the, or so. That's the 350. 350 lumen ones. Yeah. Yeah, these are the price, what gets a lot of people on them. They'd rather, but batteries are expensive though. Oh, yeah. You buy a pack yeah. of, what, 24 batteries, and that's like 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. And or it is around here at least. They don't take too many batteries before you already. Uh, and they always, my problem was off. they'd always go bad and you didn't have any more weed. Yeah. So then you kind of screwed, yeah. which I guess that's operator error. You should have them on hand if you use <laughs> yeah. it, but anyway. And I got like, like G and G steel is a steel plant I go to. They all buy these because the plant gives them free batteries. Yeah. Now in that situation, I, I would buy you, these right here too. The problem is them's only a hundred lumens. Like, yeah, they're not very bright. Like I talked to you about this last week. That's the, uh, 
that macro stream. Yep. Check that out. Yeah, I like how, how it feels in your hand and stuff. 500 lumens, and then you double click it on low, and it's 50, which that's almost too, too dim. Yeah, well, if you're in a closed off area though, this is a whole lot mm. brighter than what you would think it would be. But that 500 you know. is nice. I like the charging too, port, yeah. It, yeah. It's got a light that goes around the port. Yeah, I see that. It's pretty cool. And it's got the seal on there too where it waterproofs it, so. But I like the feel of it, you know, it feels good. Yeah, that's the only problem with, with any of these. They're all good lights. And I got the, this is ones I have. Yeah. I got my pickup truck. And That's my favorite and one right there. And uh, but they all do feel small in your hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, even these are here, but I like how this one's thicker. That's what I said about this one a while ago. I like this because it's thicker. I ain't never sold none of these, but I seen them in the package, so I ordered them. Cause you know, there's some guys that may not feel too small in their hand. Yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't a Hamilton. <laughs> Oh, man, that's bad, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, they ain't a Hamilton, that's for sure. Yeah, you need to get you some of them right there, though. That's, that's yeah, nice on, let me write this number down on this bad boy. I like them. You got remember you tell me about them. Get my dang pen up. But uh, <coughs> I ain't seen any of them yet, though. But I'll get them now. Yeah, he had them on the Mack truck the other day, and I was like, man, I ain't never seen one of them. And then, you know, it's where you could turn it on in the package, and I turned it on, I was like, oh, yeah, I, I need that. What I like about it, too, is on the uh, the clip is both ways. Yeah, you can put it on your cap. And uh, they do that with Coast don't do it on theirs, and Streamlight don't do it on the big ones. Mm-hmm. And uh, but they do but on the, all the short ones. The, what is it Micro Stream? I think yep. is the other one that. They yeah, have. they do it on all the short ones, and they've got it on that one too, which I like that because you mm -hmm. can use it on your cap without having to take it off or whatnot. Yeah, I like that little old light right there. Yeah, that's a nice one. I wish they did it like a hundred. And 500 would be better, yep. but it is what it is. I Can't like Can't get it. everything we want. I like it. Yeah. That'll be like the uh, Macro Stream 2.0. That way you have to buy a new one yeah. next year. They'll come out. It's kind of like Snap on. <laughs> they come out with a new, or they'll add a magnet to it. <laughs> <laughs> that way you got to buy something else. Yeah, no doubt. Another day, another dollar, though. That's it. Life sucks. Unless you didn't snap on route, that's another day, another 50 cent. <laughs> Whatever. You got people throwing. That's probably, I wonder if you ain't got a busted windshield, all them bill wads of money coming at it, hitting well, it all the time. I got busted one, but it's from rocks, though. So they be throwing <laughs> rocks at me. <laughs> you the only fella I ever know that can't even sit down and eat lunch without people trying to shove $100 bills in your, in your hand. I wish it was like that every day. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are thinking about being a snap on dealer, that's what you got to deal with. You can't even eat lunch without people shoving $100 bills in your hand. Or some. Everywhere I stop getting fuel or biscuit or anything, you always got somebody coming up wanting to warranty something out. A lot of times it's a, a older fellow, which I don't mind warranty them out because it's always neat talking to different people. But something that ain't been used in 25 years that you know for <laughs> sure, you know. Well, it took them that long to get another snap on guy. Yeah. <laughs> it is I've, what it I've is. been chasing you around for six weeks now. <laughs> You know, a lot of people. I heard a lot of people talking about their dealers. They wouldn't, they wouldn't warrant it out if they didn't buy it I, from them. And I, this is what I tell every one of them. And I'll stand behind this. If my dealer refused to warranty a tool that had lifetime warranty on it, I don't give a shit if I bought it from you, or yep. if I bought it on eBay, or I got it from my third cousin's best friend's sister-in-law's ex-boyfriend left it over. Like, and you won't warranty it. I never set foot back on that truck again. Yeah. Because yeah, if you won't warranty that, you liable to forget I bought a ratchet from you in two years and be like, I ain't gonna warranty that. And hey, then, and then it's gonna be we hear that, though. then it's gonna be um, an aggravated assault charge. Because I'm gonna shove that ratchet where the sun don't shine, and then I'm gonna get off the truck. You know? But you'd be surprised how much I hear that. Like, well, my dealer don't warranty stuff I don't buy from him. Yeah, like, I wouldn't buy shit from that dude, and I would yeah. hope that he'd go out of business. And, and then another dealer there. would come in there that had enough sense to take care of people. Yeah, but that happens a lot though. I mean, and it's it. Yeah, it costs you money up front, but you get it back though. Mm -hmm. And depending on how long you want to wait for you get it, that's up to you. I mean, you can. Well, see, I think a lot of dealers get confused, and this is going to piss a lot of dealers off when I'm fixing to say, but y'all can just get pissed off right now because this is better than being pissed on. You get that. 
<laughs> like Joven could walk away from Snap-on today and pull all these stickers off the truck and he could put, you know, Hamilton's tool and rolling pawn job on here. And he'll make a living if he stocked this thing full of Harbor Freight tools because he's always took care of the customers that he's got on the route. Yeah. Because it don't matter what kind of tools you sell, if a guy uses them, they're it's, all going to wire out or break eventually. It's the service that's behind it is what, where they and use them. There's a lot of dealers that sell snap-on tools. If they weren't the only one that had snap-on tools, they'd be screwed, son. Like, yeah. well, that's, I'm and, talking about screwed. And our franchise agreement protects a lot of them like, from that, too, like where you can't sell it to other people in different territories mm -hmm. and stuff. And, uh, I mean, which I understand the franchise agreement, but it protects a lot of the shittier dealers. Yeah. That There's a lot of dealers there. wouldn't make it if it wasn't for that. Because, yeah. like, I have a lot of guys that leave me messages and I'm sure there'll be some comments on here right now on this video I won't even buy from my dealer can I buy something from your guy because I, I don't like my guy my I guy is it. a dick yeah I get yeah. calls and text messages literally weekly from people like hey can I buy from you I'm like I'm sorry but I mean I can't yeah. I'm, I mean I guess I could but I wouldn't be a snap on dealer very long because they'd shut that down pretty fast but you know, and, and I'll say that a million times over, if you switched over to Gear Wrench next week, we'd have Gear Wrench Friday or Tuesday or whatever day you come. <laughs> like that's what we'd have, you know? I mean, and you know, a lot of dealers, they're not gonna be able to say that. Yeah. Just like our old Matco dealer, like it didn't work out with him with Matco. Then he went to Gear Wrench. What happened? It ain't, they, it ain't working out too good with Gear Wrench. They yanked the franchise from him too. So, I mean, it's, you know, uh, the dealer's what makes the tools. Yep. You know. It is. I agree with that. The service is standing behind it is what. Because I had issues like with those little snap-on, the AWP-45s. I wore out two or three pair of them, and Hamilton's like, here, take this pair. It was a Nipex. Yeah. Like, you didn't have to do that, but you wanted me to be happy with it instead of, you yeah, know, going you through like we used to with the channel lock or the uh, vice grips, grips, you know. And Hamilton's like, here, take this one. It's a little more than what the snap-on was, but don't worry about it. You know, I warranted it out with it. And I haven't been happier. You know, yeah. I mean, that's, they ain't wore out. I but, warranted the fellas ratchet one time. It was a three-eighths. And I'm not sure if I should have or not, but I warranted him out with a half-inch because every week I was out there. And he bought the, it was the FLLF, the long three-eighths. Yeah. And he was just using it for way more than what it was supposed to be. And... I wanted that with the same length on the half inch drive. Yeah. And I had warranty one out for him since. Well, you remember and the the 38 ratchet that I had? I'd bought in high school. Yeah. From like two snap on dealers prior to when you even had this route. Um, remember, you didn't have a kit for it, and you gave me a brand new ratchet instead of yep. making me wait on a kit. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. You built your customer base, and ain't nobody going to be able to take that away nah. from you, you know? And that's what's valuable. So, hope y'all listening to that snap on. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nobody chasing down the tools just for snap on. It's all about the dealer. Yeah, the, if you don't believe the it, there's make... a million comments somebody I won't buy from my dealer because he sucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I get it all the time. Like, and I get a lot of guys that text me like, "Hey, uh, we love watching the phase videos every Friday with y'all. Appreciate everything you do." And uh, I wish you had my snap on dealer. My snap on dealer's a dick, or my <laughs> snap on dealer won't do this. Or me and Hamilton was actually talking about this at lunch, and I don't know why it's that way. It seems like most Matco dealers that I know are not very arrogant. They're normal guys, you know, decent guys, and uh, it seems like there's more snap on dealers are way more arrogant than any other tool <laughs> dealers. <laughs> On, on earth and I don't really understand why I, I guess it's something you know maybe like the Marine Corps you know they install Rated. it in you when you're <laughs> when you're in training you know that you guys are the best I don't know what the deal is but boy some of them let it go to their head really bad you know and, yeah some of them do I mean I met a lot of great ones but I've met a lot of them that is a mm -hmm. I mean in me and a couple of those been into it before because they're assholes or jerks or something like that yeah but it is what it is they either get over it or they won't get over it because I ain't no losing sleep over it. I promise you that. <laughs> That's true. Well, I guess we're going to get in here and get back to work. Get paid and get you paid. Everybody get a little paid today. Work. That's you get more than anybody else. Don't, I don't know about all that, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching hanging out with us on a 
good Friday. Y'all have a good bubbly weekend. Drink lots of cold beer because I heard the stock was going to go up Monday. At least in our county for sure. Alright guys, like always, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools and discount codes in the description. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger, press the button, just click it. See y'all.